because um, Carlos Norman Smith is actually three people and they are famous for this photo. Ah. And this photo is the 1968 Olympics and this is the 200 metre uh, men's final uh, medal ceremony. And um, on the left, we've got Australia's Peter Norman. Uh, he won the silver medal. In the middle is the gold medal winning Tommy Smith. And um, on the right there is a bronze medal winning John Carlos. Now, not many people know the story of the Australian in this photograph. Um, he was 26 years old at the time. Um, uh, he was a, a devout Christian, deeply sympathetic to the black rights movement and to racial equality and to uh, the Olympic Project for Human Rights. Um, his support for Tommy Smith and John Carlos um, was to wear the Olympic Project for Human Rights badge, which I've highlighted there, all three of them wearing it. He was quoted at the time as saying, he said, I think most Australians would favour what I did. At least I hope they do. I believe in civil rights. Every man is born equal and should be treated as such. I thought this was a good chance to be on their side. So that was, um, that was him. That was Peter Norman, the man. But he was punished terribly for, for, for this, for not only wearing that badge, um, but for his words afterwards. Um, he never represented Australia again, despite um, um, being um, uh, a qualifying times for the 72 Olympics. His 200 metre record still stands as the Australian record today, 52 years later, which is just unbelievable. The issue for Australia, and this is one of our you know, negative things in our history, is that we had a white Australia policy right up until 1966. And that meant that um, we really only accepted migrants from um, northern and northwestern Europe. Um, so the white Australia policy only ended two years earlier. And um, Peter Norman was um, effectively just uh, you know, cut off from um, the Australian Olympic movement um, after that and never competed for Australia again. Um, but anyway, these three, um, these three became uh, lifelong friends. Um, they yeah. were connected, connected by that iconic moment. And here's a bit of the sad part. Um, uh, on the sad occasion of Peter's uh, passing in 2006, um, they both made uh, eulogies and um, were pallbearers at his funeral. And it was only in 2012, Susan, six years after he died, that the Australian government uh, made a formal apology to Peter and his family for his treatment um, since 1968. Anyway, we bring up bring it up to date, and we can say that um, you know, 52 years later, um, Black Lives Still Matter, and the the USA uh, Track and Field Association um, produced this shirt. Uh, they continue to recognise Peter Norman for his um, uh, wearing of that um, human rights um, badge in solidarity with. Um, Smith and uh, Smith and Carlos, uh, which is great. And so um, Australians are pretty proud of, of uh, Peter Norman, not only for his sporting prowess, of course, but for the stance that he took um, and for his participation in um, what I think is a, a very special but little known Australian uh, and American connection.